Hello everyone, in this video we'll be solving an interesting equation. We have the equation e to the power x equals kx, where k is a non-zero real number, and we're given that this equation has one solution, and we're going to be finding that solution. So, this is a non-standard equation, first of all, because we have an exponential function on one side and a linear function on the other side. Now, you can log both sides, you know, you can get something like, for example, if you log both sides, let's do the natural logarithm here, ln e to the power x equals ln kx. And then from here, we're going to be getting something like x times ln e, which is 1, so I can just write it 1. And this is going to be, well, we, we might just separate it, you know, um, so, so that we can get a single uh, ln x here. And then here, now you, again, get a non-standard equation because we have x here and then ln x here. So we're not going to be able to solve this equation in normal way. So we're going to be using an interesting approach here. And that approach involves some very interesting math. So stay tuned. So what are we going to do? Well, a lot of times in algebra, when we're trying to solve the equations that are non-standard, one of the methods that we use a lot is the graphing method, right? So why don't we just go ahead and take a look at the graph of these two functions. But one thing to keep in mind that we want this equation to have a single solution and we're going to be finding that particular solution. Now, obviously there are different scenarios, but let's take a look at this particular picture right here. So we do have the graph of y equals e to the power x. I should probably change the color here. Let me make it darker. So we have the graph of y equals e to the power x. As you can see, it comes from negative infinity and then goes up and it's always an increasing function. It has a y-intercept at 1 and then so on and so forth. It just rises sharply. And then we do have the other function which is y equals kx and that is a linear equation, a line that passes through the origin with slope k. So, the reason why these two intersect at a single point right here is because we're given that this equation has a single solution, right? So what's that supposed to mean? Well, it means that there's only one x value that satisfied it. So it's unique, right? So that's interesting. Now, we're going to be finding that x value here, but in order to be able to find it, since we can't solve this in normal ways, we're going to be using a different approach. So in other words, the graph, uh, the curve e to the power x is tangent to the line, or you could probably say ten the line is tangent to the curve, so we're talking about a tangent line here. So what is that supposed to mean? Well, let's go ahead and just, you know, call this x, call the x-coordinate of this point A. How about that? And then the y-coordinate obviously is going to be something, right? Let's, call, let's talk about that as well. Now, there are two possible values for the y-value because if you plug in x equals A here, you get e to the power A for the y-coordinate. If you plug in x equals a here, you get ka, but that means that those two values are equal. So we got our first equation, which is kind of nice. So we can go ahead and write it as, let's go ahead and change colors here, and write it as e to the power a equals ka. And this comes from the fact that these two functions intersect at a single point. Okay, great. Now what am I going to do next? Well, this information is not enough for me to solve for the a value where they intersect. So what I'm going to do is I'd like to look at it from a calculus perspective. And the calculus tells us that if you have a curve and a tangent line to the curve, you can actually find the slope of that line. How do you find the slope of the line? Well, the basic relationship, the derivative of a function at x0 is basically going to give you the slope of the tangent at x equals x0, right? That's the basis of this. So that's what I'd like to do. I'd like to take this function, and which function am I talking about? The curve, e to the power x, and differentiate it. So let's go ahead and do that. If I go ahead and take y equals e to the power x, and this is not going to be difficult, so don't worry about it like, oh, I don't know any calculus. Well, this is one of the easiest functions to differentiate because its derivative is the same. So that's one of those awesome functions where it's unchanged. So when you differentiate or take the derivative of e to the power x, you again get e to the power x. So what we're supposed to do now is replace x, or you could probably say this, like if I call this function f of x, then this will be f prime of x. 
Now what I'd like to do is replace the x in the derivative with a, which is going to give me e to the power a. But by this, the derivative at x0, which is a, is equal to the slope of the tangent. And we know that the slope of this line is k, because its equation is y equals kx. And as you know, this is the slope. So I can just go ahead and set that equal to k. Wow, that's awesome. Why? Because by using the derivative at x equals a, we were able to get another equation for a and k. Now, we do have two equations. Let's go ahead and use them together to solve for our x value. Okay. Now, what is that supposed to mean? e to the power a equals ka and e to the power a equals k. So, what's that supposed to mean? Let's go ahead and re rewrite them. Now, if the left-hand sides are equal, that means the right-hand sides are also equal. From here, we get that ka is equal to k. Obviously, you can just cross out the k here and say that a, you know, a is equal to 1, but we have to make sure that k does not equal 0. And I think we said that at the beginning, right? k does not equal 0, even, even though we didn't write it, we should have... Uh, I think we talked about it, right? k does not equal 0. Well, if you have k equals 0, then you have y equals 0, which is the x-axis. And we're not really talking about the x-axis because it doesn't intersect e to the power x. Okay. So they're supposed to be intersecting at one point. So this will give us, if you don't want to cross out the k, that's fine. You can just go ahead and subtract k from both sides, factor out k, and, you know, this is how real mathematicians solve linear equations, okay? All right. So this is equal to 0. Not to lose any solutions, obviously. So from here, we get two solutions. I mean, two results. k is equal to 0 or a minus 1 is equal to 0, which means a equals 1. Obviously, k equals 0 is invalid, which means that we're left with a equals 1. Beautiful. Now, a equals 1 is basically where they intersect, right? So that's basically the intersection point. But the question is, we don't know a, what A is, right? So we're trying to find where it, they intersect. And you can't say, hey, they intersect at A, and I don't know what A is, right? Well, A equals 1, so they intersect at 1. Great. So now, what is that supposed to mean? I have Y equals KX, and Y equals E to the power X. And they intersect at K, A equals 1. Well, here's the thing. You can't just say A equals 1, because I still need to find the, uh, the K value. And it's easy to find, because if you look at this second equation here, look at that e to the power a is equal to k. So I can use that. I can use that, right? e to the power a is equal to k. Since a is 1, from here I get that k is equal to e. Awesome. This is what I was looking for. So this means that those, in order for these to intersect at one point, k needs to equal e, right? And a is equal to 1. So what is that supposed to mean? It just means that we have y equals ex and y equals, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to write ex, y equals ex, and y equals e to the power x, and they intersect at x equals 1, which means the intersection point is going to be 1 comma e, and that basically brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Tomorrow, I'll see you with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.